want to be an interview, but you know, you you, you showed up, so we're going to. I mean, I love I love this group call. This is a whole different format that you you and Justin have invented. It's so fun and relaxed, and everybody's joining in. It's wonderful. Yeah, that, yeah, it's it's so great. It's so great. Um, so the the question that that, that came up earlier, um, also some something that you've been stressing quite a bit on your on your recent trainings is the reluctant buyer coming from that place where you literally are creating a conversation where they have to sell you their home. Yeah. Be a reluctant I been, buyer. I have been using that and it is friggin' amazing. Claude, I'm not sure if I should do this. Go ahead. Role play with me. Okay. You be the, you be the reluctant uh, guy. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Claude, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if this, if this is going to, is this going to work for me? It probably won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I really need. I don't want I really, to, I don't, I really don't, need my money on this. You know, I really need to get the the the, the hundred and twenty thousand. Then the, 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 listen. Okay, you're okay. You're a, a reluctant buyer or seller right now. I'm sorry. I'm a seller. Or, or are you oh, the you're buyer? A seller. I thought you said reluctant buyer. Okay, no, no. I I, I was going to be the seller, and you were going to do. The oh, reluctant okay, buyer. okay. Got my roles here. Okay, same yeah. thing. Um, listen. Yeah. Don't do anything you don't want to do. You want to sell this home for 120, sir? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Um, and how long you been? And um, you live in this home, sir? It's or, or it's an investment property. If you don't it's mind. It's an me. investment property. Oh, what did? You, how long you had it? <clears throat> about about 10 years. Keep it another 10. That's a great rental property. You probably made a fortune on that property. Why would you want to get rid of it? Uh, you know, I'm I'm just kind of tired of the whole landlord thing, you know, and with all this COVID and all of the, you know, people aren't, you know, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but, you know, sometimes, you know, they're not paying because, you know, they're in issues. So it's just a pain. Oh, okay. Why don't you give it to a management company or call up a realtor or something like that then? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think of man, but management company they want like ten percent or something like that. Which they is want like, a, they they want a lot of money, a lot of money. I think you should. Yeah. So I mean, I don't I'm now off the role play. What am I doing here, ladies and gentlemen? Do I sound like the typical salesperson? Oh no, uh, this is we. It dices, it slices. This is what we can do. What am I doing? That's the complete op. Who watched opposite George? Take away. Not, take, take away. Take away. Exactly. What, what, who remembers the opposite George on, si on the Seinfeld video I showed you guys on Monday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. If yeah. every natural instinct you have is wrong, do the opposite, okay? <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. that. I love that video where he goes to the pretty girl and says, Hi, I'm unemployed, I'm bald, and I live with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, Real? Oh, the girl shows an interest in him. Shows an interest, right. <laughs> That's awesome. So what I was doing with you just now, Victor, I was going in the complete, I, did I sound like a salesman, the typical guy calling up? No, you did not. Why am I doing it? What is the, this forces you to start giving me information and justifying why you are selling it. I'm trying to find your pain threshold. Yeah. Okay, I know we're ready. You're just uh, on a one through 10, you sound like a six, maybe a seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want your full price. We, we learned that already. Okay. Yeah. See, you're teaching me how to sell you. Mm -hmm. You're teaching me. See, what most people do is they get a prospect. Oh, shit. Let me tell him everything he doesn't want to know. Throw everything against the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you get into that Q&A for 45 minutes, if you're lucky. And then they say, I'll think about it. Boom. You didn't make any money and you just wasted an hour of your God-given life. Okay, but if you go in the opposite, and this is, you know, this is pure reverse psychology. Yeah. Uh, with a little bit of scarcity in there and, uh, and a little social proof sometimes. And you okay. go and you go to the prospect and say, you don't really want to sell this home, do you? you this investment, it's bringing in money, man. It's a great home, great neighborhood. You're, you're, yeah. you're not sure about this, are you? you? I mean, why don't you keep it another four or five years? And then they justify. Well, I have to sell it because I'm moving. I need the money. Uh, I'm sick of the tenants and toilets. Now you know how to sell them. So now in my mind, I'm forming strategies. I'm saying to myself, okay, this guy doesn't like tenants and toilets. And he doesn't want to pay maintenance, you know, management company. Maybe he's mm -hmm. a good rent to own candidate. Mm -hmm. 
or maybe he's good for a consultation. Maybe I can make a few thousand bucks just consulting with the guy, or maybe I should make him a cash offer. His motivation is so high. So it's always cash terms or consultation. How do I go to the bank when? Today. Today, baby. <laughs> and, it's all, and it's all about just talking, speaking the right way to the prospect. Well, you want to go back in that role play again? And let me see if I can determine how to do a deal with you. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, let me go ahead, Mr. Walker. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, I've been dealing with this for a while now and, and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm kind of tired, I guess, you know, I'm just, I've been the same place myself. I had a friend, same situation. Tenants drove him crazy, did $10,000, yeah. $20,000 worth of damage. He had evictions, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, rent, chasing for the rent. You don't know if you're a bill collector or a maintenance man. I, I know exactly how you feel. How would you, suppose I, suppose I could solve this problem before Christmas. Can I give you that as a gift today? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. How would you do that? I can do this in one of two or three ways, sir. One thing is, um, I'm an investor. Uh, I represent other people who work with me. I can give you all cash for your property and we can close by Christmas, but you may not like this part. I need at least an 18% discount on your property. So instead of uh, 120, uh, I would give you $98,000. I don't think that's 18%, but. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> um, mm, you know what, Claude, I, I can't take 98. I, that, okay. that's just, you know. what, could you, what could you live with? How about, full, how about full price? Yeah, this isn't a free and clear property, is it? Um, no, I have a small little line of credit for 30000 on it. And, and no first? Uh, no, the, the, it, it is the, the, the only loan is a first. Okay, the suppose, I, suppose I gave you full price, paid the mm -hmm. closing costs, took over your payments on your HELOC, your home equity line of credit, and um, we work out. We work out where you get a, you get money every month on the equity of your property, and we'll give you the rest of your money in 36 months. A balloon. I'll give you your price. I'll pay the closing costs. I'll take over your monthly payments, and we'll give you some money on a note every month. And you're done. You wouldn't want to do a deal. You wouldn't want to do a deal like that today, would you? Um. Are, are you saying also that I, I won't have to do any maintenance or, you know, I won't have to fix you're, toilets or anything like that? You're done, sir. You can go to your significant other tonight and, and open up a good bottle of wine and say, honey, I got full price for the property and we're done. It's over. I didn't have to pay a real estate commission. We're going to get a nice check every month for a thousand dollars. We don't have to pay that HELOC on the 30 anymore. We're done, sweetheart. Who's wow. the man? Who's, okay. You can go to your wife and say, who's the man? <laughs> yeah she likes that um, but it's okay to say but it's okay to say no to me i'm just trying to solve your problem here and i make this offer once sir and if you'd like to if you'd like to do business i'll send you an agreement we can talk on zoom or facetime at 4 30 and you can still fire me then but at this point i make the offer once if, should we move forward or is it over yeah let's do it claude what let's do it is, is that yes uh, that's a yes. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman. I'll get you the contracts, 4.30 on Zoom. And well, maybe I can meet your lovely bride. And uh, then we can figure out if any questions or anything. And if you still want to say no, it's okay to say no to me. Otherwise, we can, the problem is over and you're going to have the best Christmas of your life. How's that sound? Sounds great. Man, what a relief. Thank you very much. You're welcome. How about a round of applause there? That was a good role play. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> now what do we do how to now kiss your next... wife better <laughs> what do we do what do we do with that contract and that heloc and 